What the hell is this? I don't know. The ending of Alien Romulus may have shocked viewers worldwide, but it also laid out the future of the Alien franchise in a surprising direction. These things made us. And surely they could save us. Let's dive into the film's ending and what it means for the horror slash sci-fi franchise. Be warned, major spoilers follow. At the end of the film, we see that an injured Kay, played by Isabella Merced, has injected herself with the black alien goo they found in the Romulus lab in an effort to save herself and her baby. Rather than make her stronger, the goo transforms Kay's baby, and she gives birth to an alien-human hybrid, which grows quickly and kills her. The hybrid, dubbed the Offspring, is finally killed by Rain, played by Kaylee Spaney, but that doesn't mean we've seen the last of it. What makes the ending of Romulus brilliant is that it charts a new direction for the franchise, while tying in Ridley Scott's prequels, Prometheus and Covenant. This new direction doesn't contradict the other films in the series, which happened decades after the events in Romulus. Here's why. In 1986, many fans assumed that the events in James Cameron's Aliens were the first contact between Xenomorphs and the corporation Ripley worked for, Wayland yutani Prometheus established that Wayland yutani discovered the engineers and the black goo almost 30 years before the events in the first Alien. In Prometheus, Peter Wayland, played by Guy Pearce, wants to use the alien discovery to achieve immortality. Obviously, things don't work out. In Romulus, Rook, the android that looks like Ash in the original Alien film, explains why Wayland yutani is experimenting on xenomorphs on the station. If you listen to Rook's speech carefully, he explains that Wayland yutani has discovered man isn't built for space exploration or mining on other planets. They find the xenomorph Ripley shot into space in the first film and use it to clone facehuggers and extract the black goo from them. They discover the goo can mutate DNA for the better. That's the purpose of the experiments on the Romulus station, to genetically engineer the black goo to evolve humans into stronger workers. That evolved human looks like Kay's baby, the offspring. The goo gives the offspring xenomorph characteristics, like a tail, and looks like the engineers from Prometheus. This is not a coincidence. The ending establishes that a Romulus sequel will have a new villain, the offspring, Bigger, stronger, but just as deadly as xenomorphs. And now, Wayland yutani knows how to make them. We know their plan to make more offspring doesn't work because 37 years later, Alien takes place. And the corporation really wants a xenomorph sample, as Burke, played by Paul Reiser, makes clear. A Romulus sequel can now feature the offspring and xenomorphs. Two big reasons to jump out of your theater seat. That's our look at the ending of Alien Romulus. Thanks for watching.